keep fuck these niggas up. Yo, what is up guys, it's Juno Beats, and in this video we're gonna deconstruct how Over the Top by Smiley featuring Drake was made in FL Studio. All right, so credit where it's due, this beat was made by Tay Keith, should have heard his tag in the beginning. You guys should all know who he is by now. And again, I said this on my last deconstruct video with the Tay Keith beat, like, yeah, his melodies and drums are really simple. Rappers love that, man. Keep your melodies and your drums simple and empty and leave room for vocals. Anyway, on to the intro. Tay Keith, fuck these niggas up. Yeah, this would be a very quick deconstructed. You have one main melody, a counter melody, a snare, hi-hat, kick, and an 808. So we'll start by getting the drums out of the way. For the snare, we're using one called a Brent Rambo snare. I think I got this in a Pierre Born kit. For effects on this, you can tell they altered the snare a little bit. I just gave it some soft clipper, some crushing effectrix, as well as just gave it a little bit of wider. For the hi-hat, I just found one in a random trap drum kit called the Pleasure Hat. You can find this in any trap drum kit. For the most part, it is a simple two-step pattern. For the 808, using the Spins 808, you guys, I mean, should all have this by now. The only modification with the Spins 808 is that you just tweak the out knob a little bit before it sounds like this. Like it lasts a long time, but in this song, you'll notice that it dies out very quickly. So I did mine about 68% uh, shorter. Dies a lot faster. The 808 will be playing this pattern. Really simple pattern. And as far as the Festco for the 808, just boosted some of the uh, lower and mid frequencies just to give it more presence, as well as added sausage fattener and gave it some more color. All right, now on to the melody. For this melody, we are just using two plugins. We are using Nexus, the uh, Piano Arena Ambience, and we are also cloning that, and you'll see why in a second. So the main melody will play these notes. And so we'll take those exact same notes using the same piano arena ambience just in a separate plugin. We're going to paste those notes and you'll notice we just offset them by one little block. It'll just give it some more texture and some more depth and I think you can hear a very similar effect if you listen to the melody really closely in the song. So together they sound like this. And as far as effects go, I know it looks like a lot. I'd say the main one's just cutting out some of the frequencies. Also just has some reverb and wider is fairly important too, about 53%. And in this section for the main melody using the Nexus piano, we just have an automation clip to let the uh, volume fade in. All right, moving on to this section. So now you have your counter melody coming in. For this, we are using Nexus again, except we're using the Nexus Grand Piano preset. And we'll be playing the following notes. As far as effects go, just cutting out some of the lower frequencies, giving it just a little bit of reverb, and also just giving it some wider to separate it so that it doesn't get drowned out by the main melody. And together, both the counter and the main melody will sound like this. All right, on to this section. So obviously there's a kick coming in using the Aiden Kinway method. I think we found the identical kick. All right, so if you go to this section in the beat, the this is the only time in the song where the 808 cuts out. So we use this to identify and compare the waveforms. And initially, I don't know about you guys, I thought it was just the rack kick, but if you compare the waveforms, they don't really add up too well. So instead, I found this kick called Kick 2. I'm sure it's in a ton of trap kits, but if you compare these waveforms, it matches up a lot more neatly. So again, using the Kick 2, here's the pattern that it plays. And together, all your drums will sound like this. All right, the last thing to cover about this beat is a second hi-hat pattern coming in. Using that same pleasure hi-hat that we used earlier, we just now, instead of a two-step hi-hat pattern, have some stutters coming in.
All right, I think that does it for this deconstructed, guys. Thank you all so much for watching till the very end. If you like this, if you learned something, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button, like always. And guys, we are almost at 1K subs, man. I, I can't believe it. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Got a lot more deconstructors coming for you guys. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you all are ready. Get that FLP in the drum kits below. And until then, I guess I will catch you guys in the next video.